All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to spy on native ads using uh, a pretty cool native ad spy tool called Anstrex. So uh, what this what this tool does is it pulls in all of the native ads and it, it kind of organizes them based on a lot of different uh, a lot of different uh, factors. So the, what you're looking at is the screen that you see when you log in. Um, you know, this is the the ad creative image. This is the headline. Um, sometimes there will be a uh, title down here that people use for, you know, either the name of the site or the product that they're promoting. Um, you can see the traffic network, uh, the native ad network that they are advertising in or on, uh, the device that the the uh, ad is is being uh, run on, and the countries that the ad is being run on. And there's also two numbers here. Uh, these both of these numbers are kind of like proprietary numbers that. Uh, Anstrex has created gravity uh, from what I understand is uh, kind of how recent the campaign is the higher the number um, meaning it just means that it the campaign has been recently running very strong ad strength is basically like duration uh, and how well the ad did over time so if you if you see a high ad strength number what that means is it was running for quite a long time um, but it, you, you can't really tell how recent it's been running unless you're looking at gravity. And of course, at the top, this is the date the ad was first seen. This is the date the ad was last seen. So the way that I use this tool is I want to find things that have been running for a, you know, X number of days and that are still running because that tells me, first of all, if it's been running for, you know, say 30 days, it's likely that it's be it's successful. It's probably profitable or very close to being profitable. Uh, but I also want to know that it's still working. So the way that I do that is, you know, if I'm if I'm looking for a specific niche, uh, let's say, uh, let's say diet. I'll just start with that. I'll start with the keyword. So you can type in any keyword that you want to there. And now from this, I want to be able, like I said, I want to be able to see things that are still running and that have been running for a long time. So the way I do that is by using this slider up here that's called days running and I'll slide it over uh, and I'll usually start with 30. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do 60 or 90 days or even more if I want to find something that's really, really successful. But now everything that is being shown here has been running for at least 30 days. So now that one's, that's good. Now the next thing is I want to be able to see what ads are still running. So I go to sort by, and I sort by the date last seen, and I sort it by descending. So what it's going to show me are uh, the most recent campaigns, basically the campaigns that are still running and that have been running for at least 30 days or more. So now all I see are campaigns that have been running for at least 30 days and that are still running. You can see date last seen, February 5th, 2019. And you can see down here in my calendar app, that is today's date. So from here, um, the, you know, there's a number of other ways that you can, you can even filter these even more. Maybe I only want to see ads that are running on uh, Taboola. So I'll go and pick Taboola. And maybe I only want to see ads that are running in the United States. So go pick USA. Uh, and then from here, you can, you know, maybe, uh, maybe I only want to see uh, ads that are using some kind of a, a third party tracker. Let's say. Uh, if you just click all, that will show ads that are using a third-party tracker. Um, you could tell that you know most of these people are either using. Actually, I don't know. Maybe that doesn't even really work that well. Let me pick like you can see volume here. Let's see if anybody's using volume. Nope. So that's probably not a, a good one to use, uh, at least for this. Um, maybe I want to just sort by uh, campaigns that are on uh, just advertising on mobile. 
So now you can see all of these filters that I've used to really narrow this down to a, a very specific segment. And I'm able to see the ones that are that have been running for a very long time, or maybe uh, maybe I can see that maybe something isn't running for a very long time. That's you know uh, that could tell you a lot as well. So um, there's a lot of different ways that you can use this tool. Uh, it's just a matter of what you want to use it for, what you're really looking for. Uh, so let me let me reset this, and we'll do uh, we'll do something else. So. Let's say you want to promote a, uh, a ClickBank product, and you want to see uh, you want to see like what what type of of uh, ClickBank products are running on uh, let's say MGID. So I'm going to start with I'm going to start with affiliate network, and I'm going to go down to ClickBank, and Next, I'm going to pick MGID, and now I want to see like which ones have been running the longest. So there aren't that many. Let's go. Let's just go to uh, 15. And now this is from November, so I want to see whatever the most recent is. So the date last seen descending. So the most recent is December 23rd, 2018, and it was started in November, on November 16th. So it was running for a little bit more than a month. And um, what's cool about this is I can click this and I can see where they're sending their traffic to. Um, it takes a screenshot of that page, uh, gives you the link to the page. It tells you uh, what the offer is. So they're, they're just looks like sending it straight to the, the landing page. Um, and I can actually download landing pages right here and, uh, you know, use them myself. I can tweak them and, and use them on my, uh, my own campaign. So let's look at this one. So this is a typical uh, advertorial for mobile. So that's where they're sending the, uh, the traffic to here. And then this is the, uh, the offer page. This is where they're sending the traffic to from the landing page so you can get all of this data very fast uh, it's it's incredible so one last thing I want to show you let's, let's change let's get rid of MGID and instead let's do uh, rev content so now here's one for uh, Ted's Woodworking. It's been running since March 3rd, 2018, approaching a year that it's been running. And they're sending the traffic to this landing page. But here's what I want to show you. So if you click Publishers, you can see the actual uh, publishers that they're advertising on inside of rep content so you can go straight to rep content and basically set up a whitelist campaign um, with uh, with rep content you can do whitelist campaigns with widget IDs so if I click these and do export widget ID I can export all of the widget IDs of these that they're running on and maybe I only want to run on the ones that they've been doing for more than you know 300 days I could do that very easily with that so Anstrux is a pretty cool tool um, what I have is actually a 20% off uh, lifetime discount off of all of their their monthly plans so if you click the link below this video and enter the coupon code NAR underscore 20 you'll get 20% off any of their monthly plans thanks a lot